All right, we have our cat working so that when the right arrow is pressed, he moves right. When the left arrow is pressed, he moves left. Let's make him jump now whenever the space bar gets pressed. So when the space key gets pressed, how are we going to make him jump? We're going to go to motion. Let's see. We don't want him to turn. We don't want him to face a different direction. Let's change the Y location. Y is up and down. So let's change Y by a certain amount. Maybe, I don't know, 50. We press the space bar and the cat goes up but does not come down. Everything that goes up must come down. We, we should put a minus 50 after that. Let's click the green arrow so that he goes back to standing on the ground. We press the space bar and nothing happens because the cat jumped up and down so quickly that we didn't even see it. We could put a wait a second in between there. That, that's in control. Wait one second. Now when I press space bar, we see this. But that still doesn't look quite right. Let's try something else. Let's try this repeat 10 times. And instead of 50, let's make it 10. And then when he's falling, minus 10 and repeat that 10 times. Let's see how that looks. Hey, not too bad. Maybe repeat it 15 times, make that 15. Sometimes this is just trial and error. That's pretty cool. One more thing I think would look a little bit more natural is if instead of jumping straight up, if he's facing this direction, if he jumps forward just slightly, it should be move a certain number of steps forward so that no matter which way he's facing, it works properly. That looks good. All right, looks good. We now have a cat that can walk left, walk right, and can jump.